Today, it's time for another episode of Tuesday Live at 5. This is Lena Gersa. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my screen back to where it should be. Uh, this is Lena Gersa. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Cambridge, Ontario, Canada, and I'm having some technical difficulties with Facebook today. It is not cooperating. Uh, I'm actually live on... Well, I had to go in from a different way because I couldn't get the live to work on my business page on my phone. So something's a little wonky today with Facebook. Um, it's been acting up a little bit the last few weeks. I've um, not been able to um, edit my videos the way I typically do and edit my posts and whatnot. So something's going on over there. But anyway, here I am. I'm live and I have some sneak peeks from the upcoming mini catalog. So who's excited for the new mini and celebration starts January 5th. So excitement right after the holidays. And uh, today I am featuring the Friendly Gnome stamp set, which I absolutely love. It's super cute, coordinates with the Gnomes die. So if you snagged the um, Kindest Gnomes bundle from the Holiday Mini, there was a stamp set and dies that coordinates actually a whole suite, the storybook gnome suite. Um, this stamp set actually coordinates with that die set. So if you already have that, this is a great addition to sort of make that stamp set a little bit more multi-seasonal because it's got some cute images and sentiments for other times in the year. So I am excited. I've got some other, there's going to, you're going to see some other um, sneak peeks of new products as well. So I got lots to share with you. Let me see if I can pull up my live on my iPad or not. We'll see. Oh, there I am. Okay, that's a good sign. All right, now I see there's eight people watching, but I'm not seeing any comments. So if you are here, please say hello and let me know you are here. Because uh, as I said, Facebook has been a little temperamental, shall we say. <laughs> All right, I am going to flip my camera and um, we are going to get to some stamping. I'm going to show you the stamp set. Um, I can't show you the inside of the mini catalog yet, but I do have lots of minis to send. So if you would like a copy, of the new mini catalog. Uh, you can comment on this post and, or on this video and I will um, respond or you can send me a private message and I would be happy to uh, send a catalog out to you. Okay. All right. Hi, Jill. I see you. Hi, Tracy. Oh, hi from Saskatchewan. That's awesome. I bet it's cold out there. That weather is coming our way later this week. We're going to have some nasty winter weather over Christmas. So, uh, Everybody's battening down the hatches around here. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera and away we go. Let's hope and pray that this all cooperates. Like I said, Facebook's been a little, little temperamental. Let's just get that straight. That looks good. Get that locked so it doesn't sag. All right. Okay, here we go. New mini catalog. Wahoo! So this is what the new mini looks like. You've probably seen it all over the internet. I can't show the inside until it goes live. Um, but I have copies that I would be more than happy to send out. Also, along with it, at the same time, we have celebration kicking off. Now, there's only one celebration this year. Okay, so this is a change. Uh, hey, Shamara, winners at my... What the heck are you doing out in minus 34? Oh, I know what you're doing. You're Christmas shopping. Um, it is, uh, that's a little chilly. You can keep that. We don't really want it. Uh, we are supposed to be getting some nasty weather later this week, but I don't really want minus 34. That's when your nose hair is freezing. I don't like that. All right. So, um, celebration goes live same time as the new mini. And there's only one celebration this year and this is it. Okay. So if you would like copies of either or both, you want both, let's be honest, you want both because free stuff is good. Um, if you would like copies of both of these catalogs, um, just give me a shout out and I would be happy to get them in the mail to you free of charge. Okay. All right, let's get that out of the way. So we are all about this adorable friendly gnome stamp set. Now I chose this really intentionally to feature first because um, as I mentioned off the top, the gnomes dies coordinate with these little, fellas and gal um, in this stamp set. Now the gnomes dies are not going to be listed in any catalog. So once the holiday mini goes away, you won't see them in a catalog. You will see them in the online store. Okay. You also um, won't see them like you're not gonna, it's not a bundle. So you can't get the, the gnomes dies bundled with this in the new catalog. Okay. It does mention coordination. Okay, but you will not see them in the catalog, which confuses some people. So I want you to know that those dies do coordinate. Um, they will be available after the holiday mini uh, wraps up, but only while supplies last. So they're not really a carryover item, uh, but Stampin' Up! isn't going to discontinue them until they sell out of them. 
Okay, so if you haven't yet snagged those dies, I would really recommend grabbing them. Now, the, the coordinating uh, Christmas set, the uh, Friendly Gnomes, is already sold out. Okay, but the dies are still available um, and they coordinate with this adorable set. So that's why I chose to do this one first because I don't want you to miss out on the dies if you fall in love with this set. Okay, all right, so that is Friendly Gnomes. So we are going to do some crafting. You're going to see lots of new little sneaky peekies. So first one we're going to make is this one. I posted this yesterday. Um, so it's got, of course, our adorable stamp set. But then it also has some new dies. It's got some fabulous new paper and some gorgeous new ribbons. So here we go. We're going to get to it. Hi, Jean. Oh, you caught me live. Yay. Welcome. I'm glad you were able to, uh, to catch me. All right, so let's talk about this fabulous paper. So this is from the celebration. It's called uh, Dandy. Hang on, I gotta look it up because I'm gonna help tell you the wrong name. And I gotta be careful I don't show you the catalog on. Dandy Designs, that's what it's called. Um, and this is a mega pack. So it's a 48 pack uh, sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And it's got fabulous designs, tons of great plaids in it, um, fun spring patterns, okay? Some awesome patterns for birthdays and celebrations and whatnot. So just a great paper pack. And it is a level two freebie for celebration, okay? So that's what I used on this one. And I chose it really intentionally excuse me, because I love these little daisies. So this is from another die set. And it is called Dainty, what's it called? Dainty Delight. <laughs> I've got all this, this product laying all over my studio. So I just have to look around and it's laying around somewhere. So I've got these two adorable little dies. This is punched using the medium daisy die from our annual catalog. And then I've got some little die cut grass cut with the gnomes dies. Okay, so lots of products here. You're also gonna get to see a new punch in a minute, but let's focus on one thing at a time. All right, so we have here, this piece is cut uh, two by five and a quarter, and then we have a five and a quarter by four, four inch piece, okay? So we're gonna layer those, but we're gonna sandwich a piece of Granny Apple green card stock behind to give us a little bit of a mat there. So let's start with that. We'll pop this on. And I'm impressed you guys have even have time to watch me today. I am so not ready for Christmas. <laughs> and we're actually doing our Christmas concert at school uh, tomorrow night because we got iced out last week. Um, our buses were canceled last Thursday, which is when our concert was supposed to be happening. So we are rescheduled for tomorrow night because, you know, what else could I have to do four days before Christmas? Right? Right. So, yeah, a little crazy. And uh, we were in school till Friday. And so my plan had been to like run out um, after school on Friday, do my grocery shop, head to Costco, do all that fun stuff, and then run around Saturday and do my last minute Christmas shopping. But then they announced we're getting this massive storm starting Thursday, heading all the way through Christmas Eve and into Christmas Day. So now I'm panicking just a little about how much work I have to do or how much I have to do before Christmas. Oh, well. It will be what it will be. All right, so I've layered um, our two pieces of DSP and the cardstock. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in some fabulous new ribbon. So this is actually um, in a two pack. So it's this great burlap. And then there is a really cute uh, real red satin ribbon that comes with it. It's part of uh, the Country Floral Suite. So you will see that when you get your catalog. So I'm gonna just add a glue dot to one end. And we're going to pop this on. I'm not going to do it perfectly centered because I want to leave room for my label. Okay. Um, and I forgot to bring my ribbon scissors over, of course. So we'll just use our snips. And add another glue dot. There we go. Okay. And then we're ready to pop this onto our card base. So this is a garden green card base. Five and a half by eight and a half. Scored in the middle at four and a quarter. So we'll just fold that in half along our score line and crisp that up. And then we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive to the back of our DSP panel here. And we're gonna pop that on. Right, right way round is always better than upside down, right? There we go. Okay. Now look at how cute this little guy is. Now I'll tell you, I colored him using uh, crumb cake uh, crumb cake uh, stamp and blends. So I use the light for his beard, the dark for his shoes. I used the dark soft suede for his overalls. And then I used dark granny apple green 
for the mittens, dark uh, Calypso Coral for his shirt, light Calypso Coral for the flowers, um, dark Daffodil Delight for the flower centers, and of course, the both shades of green apple green for his hat, and then I use some of the skin tone blends for his, his face, okay? Did you catch all that? <laughs> I know, it was a lot, but I just figured it would be faster to um, color him ahead of time <clears throat> so that you guys can actually get to what you need to do instead of watching me which is probably wrap Christmas presents or finish your baking or any one of a hundred million things that we have to do to prepare for Christmas, right? All right, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive to the back of my gnome and I'm going to adhere my grass, okay? And then that's gonna get popped up, okay? But we're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna layer our daisy. So this is, again, as I said, punched with the medium daisy punch from the annual catalog. So I've punched two from Mango Melody. How It has been a really long time since we've had DSP that features Mango Melody, but that is that orangey yellow in this paper. So that's gonna get centered on there. And then I've punched just a little circle. I honestly couldn't tell you which punch I used to do this. I don't remember. I just kept punching circles till I found one that was about the right size. <laughs> honestly what I did okay so there is one little daisy so it is going to kind of get tucked just in the corner a little bit in behind the um, ribbon so we're gonna tuck that in there just like that oh the green is granny apple green Pam okay hi Sharon <laughs> I it is warmer here yes in Cambridge than it is where you are but not for long <laughs> Uh, we are going to get that nasty Arctic blast later this week. All right. <coughs> Sorry. A little phlegmy today. So we're going to stamp our sentiment. There's no one better than you. I love punny sentiments. And I have, this is just a one inch by four inch piece of white cardstock. Okay. So I'm going to stamp it in basic gray. Now I should mention, I did stamp my gnome in basic gray. I just like the softness of the gray over the black sometimes. So I'm gonna stamp this, hopefully relatively straight. And you'll notice I've stamped it to one end. That's okay, that's actually on purpose. So we are going to use this brand new Happy Labels Punch. So I love these punches that allow you to cut different widths of sentiment strips and, and have sort of a, a decorative end. So this one, <clears throat> Um, what did I use? I think I used the sort of one that looks kind of like a torn end. It's kind of like a scallop end almost. So I'm going to slide this in. It fits quite nicely into the punch and I always like to flip it over just to make sure I've got it centered so that when I punch, I know it's going to go where I want it to. Okay. Then I'm going to snip off some of that excess. I didn't need all of that cardstock. And again, we're going to slide this in. I usually put it as far as it'll go and then I just double check to make sure it's straight and you see it wasn't, which is why I always slip it over and check and I'll punch that and there we go. Isn't that cute? Super quick and easy way to use up all those little scrap strips to make labels, okay? All right, so this is going to get popped up and it's gonna overlap my ribbon just a bit. Hi Arlene. Isn't it cute, Pam? I love these little gnomes. They're so, so fun. I just, yeah, it was one of the, well, it was one of the very first sets I ordered uh, when I, when pre-order started. I just think it's so cute and so fun. All right, so this little guy now is gonna get popped up, okay? And I'm gonna layer him over top of the end of the label so that he kind of, it looks like the label's kind of coming out behind him. I probably didn't need to punch that end in hindsight, but that's okay. You need to see how that label works twice or that punch worked twice, right? Nothing wrong with seeing it work two times. All right, so let's get rid of our backings here. I'm gonna slide this over. Okay, isn't it cute? So cute. Now, these little daisies, again, they're cut using the delicate, no, Daisy Delight. <laughs> I knew I'd forget that. Um, die set, okay. So these daisies and the little centers are all cut using that um, set of dies. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue in the center. And then, where's my take your pick? Hello, take your pick. There you are, it was over on my other desk. I have two and they were both on my other desk. 
that kind of gives you an idea of the disaster zone my craft room is right now. I've got retiring product, I've got new product, I've got Christmas gifts. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Christmas holidays are coming and I can restore order once again. All right, there's my, whoops, that one moved, don't move. There are my cute little daisies. If I can get my center to stay where I want it to. And then I'm just gonna add a little dab of glue where I wanna stick them onto my card. And we're just gonna pop them on. Press them into place. That little guy, oh, that's a little low, that's okay. I'll just kinda smooch some of that glue out of the way. And there we go, isn't that cute? So fun, so cute, love me some little nomies. All right, on the inside of this, I use some scrap bits. Okay, again, talk about scraps. How many of you have like little strips of DSP laying around? So a great way to decorate the inside of your card uh, with some scrap strips of DSP, okay? All right, that's number one, done and done. Number two is this cutie. Now I did post this on my Instagram this morning and thought I had shared it to Facebook, but apparently not. Again, what can I say? <laughs> It could well be user error. Mind you, I have been using Facebook for a long time um, and I don't usually make this many mistakes. So I'm thinking it's their fault. We're gonna go with that anyway. All right, so this little girl, so cute, little girl gnome wishing you the most magical of birthdays. So again, featuring more of that fabulous DSP, okay? So this one again is cut to four by five and a quarter. I'm going to be layering it on a piece of balmy blue cardstock that's four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And where, I forgot to die cut my <laughs> rectangle. Oh goodness, you guys. I am out to lunch these days. I need a vacation. There's where I should have cut it from. <laughs> Let's go cut it, shall we? <laughs> I'll be right back. I just gotta make sure I cut the right size. Which one is it? It's that one. All right, here we go. I'll narrate from afar. So I'm gonna be using my electronic die cutting machine because it's quick and it's right here. So forgive the motorized sound as I cut. There we go, voila. <laughs> all right, so now we're good to go. We have all our parts and pieces. Is that the right size? No, it's too small. Oh, well, it's all right. It's all good to be a slightly different look. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing it's new product. You guys would have tuned out by now if it was old stuff. All right, this is a one and three quarters by four inch piece of basic white cardstock. Okay, so I am going to, now because my spacing's gonna be messed up, I'm gonna lay this on the front of my DSP panel, and then I'm going to center this on here to get an idea, or not center it, but lay it on top to get an idea of where I'm gonna stamp my sentiment, okay? Because I kinda want it to be centered between the side and the DSP. All right, so that looks pretty good. So we're gonna do it right about there. Hopefully straight-ish. Not bad, okay. Hi, Linda, you made it, welcome. All right, yeah, they are super cute, Kathy. <laughs> Arlene, the gnomes, it, it's futile to resist, right? They're just so adorable. I totally get it though. We have to prioritize. Um, yeah, I, it's just the fact that they coordinate with the other dies. I was like, nope, must have. So away we go. So I have. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue my little sentiment strip here onto my uh, DSP piece. Okay, and then this is going to get glued over top of that. Okay, and again, this is a size smaller. I cut it using the stitch rectangles, uh, but it's a size smaller than I used on my sample, but that's okay. Both work. Okay, so my little girl gnome is going to go on here, but I'm first going to add my twine. So this twine is new as well. Oh, there's my other balloon. Don't want to lose that. Um, this twine is from a three pack from the upcoming mini. Um, super cute and it is Coastal Cabana. How often do we get Coastal Cabana twine? Uh, never would be, be the answer to that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add glue dots to the back of my DSP right where 
um, the white and the DSP meet, okay? Because that is where my twine's gonna go. It's gonna run right along the bottom edge of the white piece, okay? Just like that. So we'll cut off our excess here. Just gonna make sure that stays put. Alrighty, okay, we're gonna go ahead and layer this just because I don't want things sticking to those glue dots. So we're gonna layer this onto our balmy blue layer. I love this blue and green plaid. It's so springy to me. Um, I think it'd be beautiful for like a baby boy card or an Easter card. Can't wait to play with this DSP. This is actually the first um, set of cards I've made using that fabulous celebration paper. It is definitely on the must have list as far as I'm concerned. All right, so there we go. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to add our little gnome and our balloon. So the balloon is actually the stamp images from the stamp set. Let me just show you. I'm gonna prove it, there it is, okay. So I stamped them three times, colored them with So Saffron uh, Stampin' Blends. And then my little gnome here, I colored using Balmy Blue and Bermuda Bay Blends. The, the um, light Bermuda Bay is fairly close to Coastal Cabana. For the hair, I used So Saffron. Um, I used Dark Smoky Slate for the shoes. And then again, some of the Skin Tone Blends for her face. Okay, so I'm going to arrange my balloon sort of to the, and adhere them to the back of my gnome here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of seal and we're going to arrange our balloon. So there's one, there's another, and then is that one gonna stick? Yep. And then this little guy, I think I'm gonna put up here like this and hope that it sticks. Okay, then I'm gonna add some dimensionals not only to my gnome, but also to my balloons to make sure everything stays put. So if you add a single dimensional to each, actually I don't even need one on those two, they're overlapping. And then I'm gonna add a mini just to the top of the hat here as well. So we'll get rid of all our backings. Yeah, <laughs> exactly Arlene, I never make mistakes. <laughs> right, no, mistakes are just opportunities to be creative. And I'm very, very creative, so I make lots of mistakes. There we go. Isn't that cute? Love it. All right, we're gonna tie a cute little bow with our twine. So we will add that to the front of our card. So this is a little bit chunkier um, Baker's twine. It's got a little bit more substance than our regular twine, which is great, because you don't have to do a whole bunch of layers of it to have presence on the card. So I'm gonna add a glue dot. Just peel it off the roll here. I'm gonna stick it right where um, my twine meets the edge of that die cut rectangle. And then we're just gonna pop this on just like that. Okay. And this is bugging me because it's not hanging in the right direction. So when you have um, Baker's twine that isn't kind of cooperating, you see how this one's going all wonky. Um, you can just kind of run it between your thumb and your fingernail and you can kind of get it to behave. Okay, all right, we're going to add this to a, a thick basic white card base, four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored in the middle at five and a half. So we're gonna fold that in half along our score line. And we're going to add our adhesive. And pop this on. Just like that. And then we're gonna add some fabulous new embellishments. So these are the pastel adhesive backed sequins. Okay, so sequins, we've had lots of them before, but you get a million, this is one pack. You get two full sheets. Okay, so, and you'll notice these are small, these are big. So you get a full sheet of large and a full sheet of small. How awesome is that? Pretty awesome, I'd say. Um, so I think I'm actually going to use a couple of large ones on this this time. I didn't use any on my sample, but I can. So why not? So let's add, uh, what are we going to do? We'll put one up here. See so on my sample, I did five. I'm kind of thinking three because this is a smaller DSP piece. I'm going to go with three. Chain the design on the fly because that's what we do when we screw up. <laughs> and you know what? I kind of like the smaller DSP panel. It's a little bit cozier. But there you go. Cute, cute, cute. Little birthday card. All right, moving on. Number three. Now, yes, I know we haven't even had Christmas yet, but Valentine's. If anybody's going to call in the middle of my live, it will be my parents. 
Oh dear. Anyway, I think I'm still live. I hope. Oh, there we go. I'm back. <laughs> okay. I think I'm good. It was my parents calling me, which is what interrupted my live. If you lost me, that's why. Um, so come back. <laughs> I'm here. All right. So as I was saying, we need Valentine's cards because it's that time of year. We have to start thinking about Valentine's Day. As crafters, we always kind of have to be thinking one holiday ahead, right? So uh, we're going to make this cute little Valentine's card with our Friendly Gnomes set. So I'm going to just dump all my bits out here. Come on. Let's go. It's staticky. And I'm going to grab one of our new mini blending brushes. So in the new mini, we have smaller size blending brushes. Now you could certainly use a large one on this one, but I did want to show the smaller ones. Let me get a large one and I'll show you both side by side. So you can see the difference. Okay, so there's quite a significant size difference. Um, these are great for when you're trying to get color into little small areas um, and you don't want it to spread all over. This is great for applying color all over uh, quickly. These ones are great for more detailed work. Okay, so we're going to use that one just because I happen to have it handy and I wanted to show it to you. So we're going to add a little bit of ink to shade our background. So this is just a piece of Smoky Slate cardstock. Okay, it's four by five and a quarter inches and I can see that I'm breaking up on my iPad. I'm hoping that my feet is still happening here. Hopefully. All right, so this is embossed um, using the timber embossing folder. Okay, so I'm going to come in with my basic gray ink and my blending brush and we're going to apply a little bit of ink just around the edges and that's going to kind of bring out the uh, wood grain texture and it's also going to kind of grunge it up a little bit give it a little bit more interest to the background and it's amazing the difference when you add that little hint of shading to the embossed pattern what a difference it makes so we're just gonna apply this all the way around. Okay, Tracy, you're good? I'm good, all right. Good to know, thank you for the feedback. My parents should know not to call me on Tuesdays, at least not till after dinner, but I think they're worried about the storm. I'm sure that's what they're calling about. So I'll have to call them back and talk them down. They live in a very remote area up north, about four hours north of me here, and they are gonna get blasted by this storm, so. They are justified in being concerned. It is not going to be a very pleasant Christmas up their way. Good thing we were not planning to travel to them. <laughs> uh, we usually plan not to travel to them at this time of year just because the weather tends to be, they're right next to the lake and they get um, lots of lake effect snow. All right, so there we go. I went a little bit darker on this one than I did on my sample, but again, that's okay. Okay, love, look at how that just brings out the texture of the wood grain. So fantastic. All right, I'm going to keep this out because I'm going to use it in a minute. So we are going to layer a piece of, or a circle. Um, I, you'll see that this is missing a little bit. That's okay because we're going to cut part of it off. This is from the Country Floral DSP. So it's from a new suite in the mini. And it's got, I'm not sure you can see it on the uh, camera, but it's got little hearts and X's and O's for Valentine's Day. So we're going to glue that on to our embossed panel and I'm going to overhang the edge a little bit and then trim off the excess. So don't have to worry about not having a perfect circle because we're not going to need a perfect circle. So we're just going to trim that off. Okay. And then I have some little hearts. So these, again, this one is actually punched from the DSP. There's a new punch that coordinates with the DSP. So this one's punched and these little guys were fussy cut. The punch does not cut these little guys, unfortunately. It'd be great if it did, but it doesn't. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these little fellas on. So just a little bit of adhesive here. So we'll pop one. And then these little guys. there and I'll move this over a little bit and there okay so there are our little hearts and then we are going to wrap a little bit of white twine around now I have a little tip for you um you've had three calls <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, that's just the way it goes, Tracy, right? Yeah, at least you're not live. <laughs> <laughs> and can answer the calls. Um, so just a little tip for storing your twine. If When you get your spools of twine like this, I don't know about you, but it gets really frustrating when the twine like flips and flops all over the place. And I was using washi tape to hold it. And that's annoying because then it gets all sticky and then it loses its stick. And anyway, so here's a little tip. Take your snips, cut a slit at the top of the spool. And then when you wrap your twine, just catch it in that slit and it keeps it from unraveling. Okay, so that's my little hot tip for you today. <laughs> okay, so let's take some twine. We're gonna do a double length or double width rather to go across the front of our card. So it's gonna run, I don't know, right about there. So we're going to add a glue dot to the back of both sides. So I'll put one there and wrap our twine. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, that's a little high. Nope, don't like that there. The nice thing about using glue dots is if you don't like where the first one went, you just do it lower the second time. So we're just gonna make sure that goes lower. Right about there. There we go. That may be too low. <laughs> I don't know, that works. All right, so there's our first one. And then what I like to do is kind of lay my twine across so I get an idea of where I want my second one to go. And then I just lay my paper onto my roll. Oops, didn't stick. They're really happy on the roll, these glue dots. Let's try another one. That's what happens when you emboss your cardstock. Sometimes the <laughs> the cardstock breaks off or uh, gives breaks down and pulls off rather than the adhesive. There we go. There is our twine. So we're gonna layer that on a piece of basic gray cardstock, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So that's gonna get layered on there. Now, again, because this is embossed, I'm actually gonna apply my tape to the basic gray layer. Again, because I don't wanna sort of pull apart the layers of my cardstock. Um, that's just a little tip if you find when you're using your seal that, um, especially on embossed cardstock, that it's pulling your layers apart. Um, don't apply it to the embossed layer, put it on the, the plain layer. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to add our cute little gnome, but we are going to do a little bit of paper piecing. So this is again, another pattern from, this is actually from the coordinating uh, country plaid, I think it is, DSP from the same suite as this paper. Uh, and so what I've done is just on a little scrap, I stamped my little gnome again, but really just wanted to get the heart. And so then we are going to cut out the heart to layer on here. Now, um, I should mention when you are paper, paper piecing, you wanna cut, sort of towards the inside of the line. Does that make sense? So when you have a stamped line, there's like the outside side of the line and the inside. So you kind of want to cut towards the inside so that when we layer it on our other stamped piece, it layers well. Okay, you'll see what I mean in a sec. So I'm just gonna trim this off. I'm gonna cut around the mitten. I'm actually gonna come at it from another direction just because that's a little bit of an awkward curve there. So we're gonna come at it this way and cut this out. Okay, and then we'll trim off this last bit. Okay, so there is my heart, my little plaid heart. And then when I layer that, just see how I still see the outline of the heart behind it? Okay, see how that looks? Okay, that's why you cut on the inner side of the line, if that makes sense. So to glue that, I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue here. And we're gonna pop this on. Hi, Sonia, welcome, thanks for sharing. So we're gonna pop this on just like this. Okay, there we are. And then he's gonna get popped up on the front of my card. And I should mention, I use light, light and dark smoky slate for his beard and his um, pants. And then uh, light and dark real red for the hat and mittens. Um, I left his sweater white, because I just wanted him to have a white sweater. You could certainly color it if you wanted to, but I thought it would look better white. So he's wearing a white sweater. I don't know how many gnomes would wear a white sweater, but my gnome does. Maybe he's dressed up for Valentine's Day in his fancy white sweater. There we go. Okay, now our sentiment, it just says love you again from the Friendly Gnome set. And we're gonna stamp that in basic gray. This is just a scrap of white. 
So we're just going to stamp that on there. And then we're going to cut it out. Easiest fussy cutting ever. So we're just going to cut around our sentiment with our snips. Straight lines. Straight-ish. Don't have to be perfect. So I'll just cut straight across there. Okay, and then I'm going to add a couple mini dimensionals to the back of this fella. Or sorry, to the back of my sentiment. I've already put the dimensionals on the fella. He's stuck down already. So let's get rid of these. And we'll pop this on. Okay, and then that is going to get glued onto a smoky slate card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. So again, we'll crisp that up. And then we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive to the back of our panel here. My seal is running out. It's getting a little tight. And then we're gonna pop this on right about there. Got a little bit of post-it note on my grid paper there. Okay, and then we're gonna tie a little bow, but this time, instead of adhering it with a glue dot, I'm actually gonna tie my bow around the twine that I've already put on my card. So this is just a little bit different look. So I don't know, I've got about eight, maybe 10 inches of length. So I'm just gonna pull this around and I want it to be kind of right where the, the twine and the edge of the circle meet. So we're just gonna tie a cute little bow right there. Now I don't need this much length, but it is easier to tie a bow with extra length, right? Um, so it does take a little bit more um, twine than you might use if you were just tying a bow um, on its own rather than around the ribbon, but it's a great way to kind of get a slightly different look. So we'll trim that off and then I'm going to tuck a glue dot in behind the knot just to make sure it stays put because it can slide, right? Because I just tied it around the twine and I don't want it to slide around on my card. So we're just going to press that so it stays put, straighten out our bow and there we go. Cute, cute, cute. All right, what did I do on the inside of this? I think I stamped, yeah, I added a basic white panel and added there's no one better than you, which works with the love you sentiment, and then stamped some flowers, again, from this cute set. Okay, so there we go. I'll bring back all three of our projects for today. And then I've got a couple others to show you. Let me just put the lid on my glue before I end up with a clogged tip on my glue bottle. So here's another one. Love this little guy and this cute little squirrel. So again, I was going for a really cute um, spring look. So this is mint macaron. Um, I did some paper piecing on his hat this time with that uh, sort of gingham pattern and used that same floral stamp that I used on the inside of this one um, as my background on this one. Okay, and then I did a, like a little vine look on the inside. So that's a fun one. And then this one went for some a totally different look. Um, I just recorded a reel. You'll, this will post on Thursday. Um, totally different paper masking or masking um, card. So I stamped my gnome, masked it with a post-it note, did my blending and my stamping, and then peeled off my post-it note and colored in my heart. So another look, um, again, this is a little bit more modern look, uh, maybe for someone special on Valentine's Day. I think my son's gonna get this one actually for Valentine's Day. So there we go. Some ideas with the adorable Friendly Gnome stamp set from the upcoming mini catalog. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know it's been a little bit of a whirlwind today um, with all of the technical difficulties and me forgetting stuff. <laughs> It's tis the season, ha <laughs> ha. Um, but I will, I'm hoping to be back next Tuesday after Christmas uh, with another sneak peek. Um, and then I will be starting a countdown to celebration um, just before the new year. So you're gonna wanna check that out as well. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me today. And each week that you tune in so faithfully, I wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy 2023. And I will see you after Christmas. Bye for now.